Hello and welcome to another episode of Pat Bear's Anime Club. This is my ongoing video series where I take a look at something from the world of anime that I want to chat about. Occasionally it's a deep dive into a subgenre, news of the day, a look at past seasons and future seasons of anime. And well, it's the second video of a new anime season. And this is now a tradition that I've been doing for a while. I didn't always do it, but once I started, I was like, well, I kind of want to do this every time. The first video uh, into a new season, I want to talk to you about All 11 Spring 2024 Isekai. That's right. There are 11 new and uh, I believe two returning. Yes, two returning, 11 new. Uh, some of them are seasons twos and threes. There's a lot of Isekai this season. 11 shows, one of which I would say isn't an Isekai, but the... Uh, people that make it say it is and one that I think is in is a guy that some people say isn't so maybe it's actually 10 but we're counting them all as 11 and we're going to go through them uh, and as always I will go through the shows that I am planning on watching the shows that I might watch or maybe even at the end of the season catch up on and the shows that I have no plans to watch which of course could change uh, last season there were several that I was like, I'm watching these and I did not at all because I did not like them or gave up on them. And there were a couple that I was like, oh, I'm not going to watch this. And turns out, yes, I am. And we'll get to one of those pretty soon. But let's get into it right now with our first show that we'll talk about. Chilling in another world with level two super cheat powers. I'm going to watch this one because I think the manga is so easy and enjoyable. It's so fun. They're not going to get anywhere near some of the sad stuff that comes in way later. This is the first season, so it's 12 or maybe 13, probably just 12 episodes of a dude that this is another banished. This is another of the banished subgenre. Our main character was summoned with a lot of people. He's they say, you've got no powers. You've got no abilities. You're just like a merchant. Like, what are we doing here? Get out of here. He gets banished from it. Turns out as soon as he levels up to level two, all of these superpowers unlock. He's basically a god. He makes friends with demons and he makes friends with humans and a variety of different kinds of creatures all along the way. The many of them are ladies, including uh, the lady you see in the photo here, who is a demon uh, that immediately is just like, you're going to be my husband because you're stronger than me. And she's nice and he's nice. And it's there is a reoccurring thing about the quote unquote true hero sucking ass and he just keeps getting owned and it's pretty great. Um, it is just kind of for comedy. Um, there are villains, there are problems, but it's pretty breezy and I'm enjoying what I've watched so far and I'm going to keep watching it. It's, it's a good time. Uh, this is, this is not going to be on my, like, you got to watch it recommendations, but it's pretty good. Okay, uh, let's talk about another show I'm going to be watching that I do think will be on my recommendations. That time I got reincarnated as a slime season three. This is the, the photo, promo photo for season two, but whatever. It's a group photo and I like your photo. Um, this arc is really fun. I've been reading the manga uh, as it's been released monthly. And uh, we're going to get through a lot of what has been covered uh, in these arcs. Uh, some good battles, some great... Uh, uh, subterfuge in the background. We're going to have some really good fights in season three. Um, there's some good goofiness. And then there's like this fun city arc of like really slow life. The stuff that people really loved about season one that they didn't get so much in season two. That's going to be in there. It's going to take a little while. We got to have some battles, but we're going to get to that fun stuff. Um, and also some people showing off how powerful they are, which is always a good time. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have much else to say. Slime is still really good. Rimuru is still a fun character. I'm looking forward to more of it. Uh, and then also they, this is the further promo, uh, uh, promo. They don't really wear that kind of gear. It is not as fascist as this photo may imply. Newgate. Uh, Newgate, the Newgate, I should say. It's not Newgate. It's the Newgate. Tough to, to look up because if you put in gate anime, you're going to get gate, which is different. Uh, that's a different kind of isekai. Um, the new gate is what if what people think Sword Art Online is about 
what if there was actually an anime that was that? Because Sword Art Online, people call an isekai. It's not. It's a death game. It is a, it is a death game survival. It is, oh, I am trapped in this virtual world, and then later I'm not, and then later I am, and then later that virtual world feels real, but it still isn't real. What if it was real? That's what this game, this what the new gate is. That's what this anime is about. Our main character survived a death game. He ended it. He should have woken up in in the real world uh, from from his from his being trapped in a video game. He didn't. Instead, he woke up 500 years after the, the the final event of the game. But now the game is real. It is a real physical world that he lives in, and. He's got to figure out what to do there. Uh, there are characters that still survive, so he can go interact with them. Uh, there are new characters and new ways and his incredible overpoweredness that he got from many years of grinding in that game to then defeat that game and survive. He now gets to experience kind of a, a laid back, kind of a slice of life with some action scenes. Um... The new gate is, uh, at the time of this recording, not release, recording, first episode's coming out, I'm going to be watching it, I'm going to drink a little water, sorry. Pardon me. I'm going to be watching it, I am very excited for that series. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no edits in this one, I'm going to try, no edits. Um, yeah, the new gate is just a good time, uh, I am excited to see how this goes. This could be a show that I end up dropping because maybe the animation quality isn't that good or the adaptation isn't that strong. Uh, but I'm hopeful that it's going to be great. And so I'm definitely going to be giving it a shot. And now, the show that I kind of hinted at before, Tsukamichi Moonlit Fantasy Season 2. This is the second part of a double core uh, back to back, and I said last uh, season that I probably wasn't going to watch this, or maybe it was a, it might have been a maybe. Uh, I'm watching it. I don't watch it every week. I usually let three or four episodes pile up, and then I keep going with it. But there's something about it. Uh, I think it's the fact that our main character is, he's not dumb. He's just a bit naive still, and he doesn't dip into edge lord too often. There, there is. There is a moment in season one where he goes, a couple moments, I should say, where he goes full on capital E edge lord, overpowered, vindictive, anti hero. Um, but for the most of this one, it's just a lot of this is a teaching arc. He becomes a teacher. That's a lot of it. There's a, a intrigue, and we, as the uh, viewers, have information that he doesn't have. Um, we get to see. New characters come in that are interesting. New characters come in that are annoying. Um, the plot is advancing. We have some time with the other heroes. Uh, our other characters that were summoned when he was rejected by the goddess. Because he's an Isekai character. Because this is all Isekai. Um, so we get to see those other ones and how they're dealing with being on the humanity side against the demons. Um, and our... Our character is not part of the Demon Lord Army. He is a third party. And how long can that uh, last? So, yeah. Again, I'm not going to be watching this weekly. I'm not going to watch it as it comes out. Um, but I am... I'll be I'll be up uh, on my episodes. You know, I'll get caught up pretty quickly. Now let's talk about the maybes. I don't know. Uh, we got a couple shows that have started uh, that I might get to. And a couple that like... Or, or at least one that I'm like... Ah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. It, it's maybe. Um, a Salad Bowl of Eccentrics. Now, this is the anime I mentioned that some people say is not an isekai. Because there are some people that say if the world is our world, it doesn't count. Which I disagree with. There are people that say that, like, well, the main character has to be the one who's been isekai Like, um, uh, War on Geminar is an isekai, But... Tenchi Muyo, because these are half brothers we're talking about. Tenchi Muyo, not an isekai, because all these characters have invaded Earth, and our main character is not an isekai. Tenchi is not. So Tenchi Muyo doesn't count, but War and Geminar does. So, is the main guy the main character? Then it's not an isekai. Is the main girl the main character? Then it is. I think she's the main character, because it seems like the world, the motions of it are revolving around her, not so much his reactions to her. That's why I don't think. Uh, um, uh, uh, God, 
Maid. Uh, Dragon Maid. I don't think Dragon Maid. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It's Miss Kobayashi. You know, uh, Toru is not the main character. Miss Kobayashi is. So it's not an isekai. That's my thinking. I think this one is. And I also think the first episode was just uh, fine. It's a little cutesy. Um, I'm, I, but I think I might give it another shot because I have a friend who really liked the first episode and has been talking it up. So maybe I'll give episode two and three a look. See, I don't know. There's a lot of anime this season. So maybe, um, also maybe as a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world. I bounced off this manga pretty quickly, so I don't know if I'm going to watch this. Apparently, the animation was beautiful for the first episode, I've heard. Um, and I also don't hate the premise that our main character is not overpowered. He has the second or third power that most isekai protagonists have. Appraisal. That's all he's got. So he's he can't even appraise himself, but he can see the potential in others. Um, and that's interesting. So that could lead to... A fun story like i said i bounced off the manga so i don't know if i'm going to give this a shot but it seems like it's a good adaptation so maybe and then the third maybe uh, uh we had four yeses and we have three maybes which means we're getting four no's here's the third maybe um mushoko tensei season two part two jobless reincarnation um I am behind. I didn't watch all of season two, part one. So I would have to finish that before I went into part two. Am I going to do that? I'm not sure. I like this well enough. Um, I've talked about this show plenty and how the manga and the light novels were formative for the genre, the modern isekai genre that we're currently seeing. Um, and the animation is beautiful. It's a loving rendering of it. It's a good adaptation. Rudius is better as a character now as he is aged. He is less of a piece of garbage. He's still sometimes garbage. But I don't know. I thought I would watch uh, Job Reincarnation Season 2 Part 1. I thought I would be up to, to date right by now. I'm not. So I probably won't. But maybe. Uh, I'm not going to watch... I was reincarnated as a seventh prince so I can take my time perfecting my magical ability. If you saw me talking about this in the spring preview, I mentioned how this is a fateful, uh, this is fate, the art style is fateful to the manga, but I don't like the manga's art style. Uh, I think it'll actually be better because the manga's art style, while cherubic, isn't certainly a problem. It's that um, the art got worse and worse. Uh, and it seemed to be almost amateurish uh, in, its, in its work, certainly rushed, um, which I don't think the anime will be. But also, I didn't enjoy my time with the manga, and I just don't want to look at this. It's great that, it's, that it seems to be faithful, but I, I'm good. They could have changed the art style, and maybe I wouldn't have given it a shot. Konosuba, God's Blessing on the wonder on This Wonderful World, Season 3. We've had the side series, series, we have the movie. Now it's time for Season 3. I have friends very excited about this. I am not excited about it. I didn't watch Season 2. I never finished Season 1. I didn't watch the side series. Maybe I should have watched the side series because it's like Megaman's origin story. And I like her. Of all these characters, she's my favorite. I didn't even get a photo from Season 3 to put here because I just don't care about Konosuba. It was novel at the time where it was more of a jokey take on it. It was more of a comedy. The main character seemed to suck. And that was fun. You know, the goddess is terrible. Everybody sucks. Yeah, but ah, nah, never been for me. Never been for me. Remonster. Or RE Monster. I think it's Remonster. Um... I actually watched the first episode of this. I didn't like the manga. This is one that I'm sure there will be some people who are really excited about because they like this kind of edgelord main character. It's not an anti-hero. He is just a villain, but he is the main character. The idea that somebody in a, in a world that is not necessarily ours, but was a different world from this, uh, uh, he dies, he's able to keep some of his abilities that he had there, and he has some interesting abilities where if he consumes 
monsters, he gets their powers, which is an incredible cheat ability. And we watch him, the first episode is him just doing that like three times and him growing and evolving. And now he's evolving past where he should have been normally. And he's got allies, but he doesn't really care about them. And uh, that will change, I'm sure, over time. But right now, when I watched this event, I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right, you know? Um, and the other show I know I'm all right about is one that I don't think is an isekai, but other people say it is, including the makers of it. So we'll say that the banished former hero lives as he pleases is an isekai. We'll say that that's true. He died as the hero. He wakes up. People don't think that he's he's hanging out. He's not doing whatever he want, what, what, what they want. He gets banished. Sure. To me, these two worlds are identical. There seems to be very little difference between these two worlds, so it doesn't feel like in the sky, but apparently it is in the sky because they were different worlds. Sure. Doesn't really matter because the animation in this is balls and the uh, sp adaptation speed. Like, I read this manga for a bit. The first episode, I think, is like six chapters of the manga. So I'm just like, what are we doing here? Are they going to make stuff up? What's going on? Are they going to... The stuff that was cut out, we're going to see later. What are we doing here? It Even for my overpowered main character stuff and the plethora of ladies who love him stuff, uh, none of this is interesting. None of it is great. The blacksmith who makes legendary weapons, the legendary sword she makes looks like nothing. There's nothing interesting about it. There's nothing interesting about this series. It's just blah. Um... I wish that I wasn't so negative in this video now that we're almost done with it. But we'll say there are four shows that I'm looking forward to. Three that I'm like, well, maybe, maybe. Uh, like one is strong, maybe. Two uh, middling, maybe. And then four that I just don't want to watch. But also, this season is fucking weird. Um, I'm probably going to have a video in me. We talked about one of the, sorry, we talked about two shows this season that are season threes. Spring 2024 has two season threes that are Isekai. And I believe five others, four or five others that are also season threes of shows. What's up? Uh, that seems weird. So I, that might be a video. I don't know. I also, of course, I'm going to give my recommendations for the season. That video is coming. I'm going to be doing uh, in the next few videos another look at uh, some weird manga premises because that's really fun to do. I've enjoyed researching that. Um, I got a weird isekai um, title to talk about in the future. Oh, I should I should be on this here. That was all 11 Spring 2024 isekai. Um, we'll find out if I recommend any of the four uh, as far as what you should be watching this season. Um, in my usual four or five video that I make where I recommend stuff. Um, I don't know. Get caught up on some winter. There was a lot of great stuff in the winter 2024 season that might be better than almost any of the isekai's coming out now. Get caught up in Re Reincarnated as a Slime. Even if you just want to watch the second half of season two, because the first half of season two is pretty slow, you'll get caught up with, with there um, to see some cool action and some violence. And... Season two, part two does have a character, a minor character get killed in a way that is incredibly hilarious that I did, as it happened, say out loud, get fucked. Uh, and it was just an incredible moment. Totally worth checking, trekking that down. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode of Pat Bear's Anime Club. As I said, I've talked about the next couple. If you have an idea for a Pat Bear's Anime Club topic, you can leave it in the comment below. It's been a while since I've had a recommendation. And are you going to watch any of these isekai? Are there any of this guy that you're already watching or that you're now, because of this video, you're interested in checking out? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, hit the like button. That's helpful for me. It makes it possible for more people to see these videos. And I will see you on the next episode of Pat Bear's Anime Club. Goodbye.